Rose is one of the most prolific, one of the most well-known notes in fragrance, but it's more often thought of as a female, a feminine kind of note because not only because it's floral, because it's rose, you know, the color of rose and the smell of rose. The question we're asking today, are there any men's fragrance that feature the note of rose in the forefront that are actually masculine and that could be considered compliment pullers? We'll answer that and more coming up, so stay tuned. Welcome back everyone. Well, the obvious answer is to that question, are there any masculine men's fragrance that feature the note of rose? Absolutely. As I've already said, rose is more known historically as a fragrant note that's used in women's fragrance. But there are men's fragrance out there that are extremely masculine compliment pullers where the note of rose is featured. So we're taking a look at seven of those today. I'm gonna to feature seven of those fragrances, talk about maybe why the note of rose is a bit more masculine. Now you might be quite surprised that rose as a supporting note is in a ton of men's fragrance, very popular men's fragrance. For example, Gucci Envy, that's a big one. It's in Chanel Egoist, it's in Jaguar Privé for men. It's in Aqua de Parma Colonia Ascenza, it's in Fierce for men, believe it or not. It's in Dunhill Icon Absolute, and it's even in fragrances as diverse as Zeno by Davidoff, Aqua Colonia's Awakening Woods of Scandinavia, which I really, really enjoy. It's also in Lome Ultime, which is a fantastic YSL fragrance, but what about as the primary note? Is it does it make an appearance in men's fragrance as a primary note and smell good? You know, is it something that's popular? Is it something that women like to smell on men? The answer, the quick answer to that is yes, and we're going to dive into seven of such fragrances. And the very first one that I would like to talk about is one of my absolute all time favorite by Carolina Herrera, and it is CH Men Insignia. Rose as a supporting note is featured with anything. But when rose is the primary note, it has to be paired with certain kinds of fragrant notes to allow it to kind of open up. In Insignia, it's paired with saffron and cinnamon. In the open, you've got violet, you've got patchouli, you've got cashmere, you've got a little bit of oud, and then cystus. Now you're going to notice that most of these fragrances that feature the note of rose, including Insignia, also have cystus and oud, a little bit of oud in them. Cystus is an, kind of an aromatic oil that is extracted from leaves and twigs. Cystus and labdanum are often the same thing depending upon whether it's from the vegetation or whether it's from the, the flower. Cystus absolute uh, can be extracted as cystus absolute or as labdanum. And that's very often paired with rose to kind of help rose open up with that saffron, that cinnamon, giving it some spice and it makes it smell and feel like leather because of the, the labdanum, the cystus. CH Men Insignia is a great compliment puller and a great rose-oriented fragrance. Uh, the next fragrance that features the note of rose that's very masculine and actually shows kind of the animalic side of rose, kind of the rough hewn, I guess rose for the lumberjack, we'll say, is actually a favorite of mine from Chopard. It is Rose Malachi. Can't get enough of Rose Malachi, man. It's one of those fragrances that not only does it wear perfectly by itself but it really layers well and that's the one thing about rose not only is it a great supporting note but it's also a great supporting fragrance to layer with other fragrances similar to ch men insignia rose malachi opens with saffron a little bit of papyrus and cardamom introduction into the heart which is rose there's also rose absolute so a couple kinds of variations of that concentration of rose now the leather note in this kind of highlights the animalic side of rose and then you get a nice woody backbone with some atlas cedar some put Chuli and vanilla. So Rose Malachi, again, Rose for the Lumberjack, fantastic fragrance. Another masculine rose-oriented fragrance that not every guy can pull off, kind of like a Dark Rebel Rider. Not every guy can throw on a leather jacket and really sell it. Toy Boy by Moschino. A Toy Boy is a very well-known rose-oriented fragrance for men, known for being a masculine rose fragrance that not everybody can wear. It's not going to be something that everyone will like. So you definitely want to get a sample of this as opposed to just buying full bottle. Grand combination of notes in it that are just fantastically blended. It even has a bit of pear, but it's got this rose flax 
you know, it's got this rose flax blossom. This one has LME resins, nutmeg, pear, clove, an aroma chemical called silkalide. Does a similar thing that ambroxan does to most fragrances. Adds kind of a silky, like the name implies, kind of a silky smoothness to it as well. One of the most long lasting rose oriented fragrances that I've ever come across that is a definitively masculine fragrance, although anyone could wear this even as a unisex fragrance, I think it's a bit more masculine, is Toy Boy. Another favorite of mine that is just a great, well-rounded fragrance altogether, but it does highlight that wonderful note, kind of the darker side of Rose, is one by Issey Miyake. It is Lodisi Porom Orensens. I would say it has some similarities to Noir Argent, few similarities to Pulse of the Night. It is definitely not like those fragrances, though, in overall embodiment of its aroma it's got that smooth dark very cool weather fragrance oriented but it's got that smooth dark rich rose definitely a floral side but you've got incense as the primary carrier of the note of rose or incense actually opens with rose and both sides of that aromatic oil uh, cystus and labdanum spices pink pepper cumin dark woods leather patchouli this is a bit more of a gentle introduction to rose whereas Toy Boy is like mafia rose in your face. Our next fragrance that features the note of rose as a primary note, but is very masculine, might actually surprise you because you probably already own it and don't even realize that you're smelling rose. And that is in Rochas Mustache, the Eau de Parfum. Now this fragrance is so similar to YSL Tuxedo that you cannot not smell it. You cannot not compare it, even though it is a designer fragrance, it is a very high-end designer fragrance, very expensive. This is, again, the, the poor man's tuxedo. I've called it more than once, and I stand by that. It is a fantastic fragrance overall. Highly recommend owning it for various, a number of reasons, but you get this really nice Bulgarian rose in the heart of the fragrance, and I smell it right away. I get it right there in the middle of that very smooth open and blend, and it just lasts and lasts, and that's why one of the reasons that I really love Mustache Eau de Parfum. Instead of labdanum or cystus, this uses warm, sweet benzoin as kind of a buoy for the note of rose. You've got mandarin orange and pink pepper as an introduction, kind of a handshake before you get into that. You've also got some woody atlas cedar as a blend. It is one of the smoothest introductions to rose that you'll ever find. And again, you may not have even known that you were smelling the note of rose or that it could be that enjoyable in a masculine fragrance, but that's what makes Mustache EDP such a must own. Another spicy fragrance that is extremely masculine, but features similar to Mustache, Bulgarian Rose as a primary note, is a fragrance by Guerlain. It is Lome Ideal EDP. Another fantastic cold weather fragrance that, that has a lot of similar attributes as does mustache because this too can be a signature scent you can wear it in any situation dressed up or casual this fragrance doesn't matter similar to uh, its cousin fragrance lintense it has a little bit of smoke in the background but the trifecta that pairs so well with bulgarian rose is almond vanilla and incense almond vanilla incense in the base you've got tonka bean and sandalwood creates this almost metamorphosis from the open to the heart to the dry down super milky smooth it's just a, a grand fragrance to wear and you know again it's another one of those that you don't even know you're smelling rose now rose does two things in this fragrance it not only supports the other notes but it also is supported and buoyed pushed forward as a as a primary note by the other notes and again it does it in such a way that you're not aware that you're like wearing a kind of a rose oriented fragrance it's more almond with rose just tucked underneath kind of riding on the coattails of almond all around classic scent highly recommend extremely masculine those that smell it will often comment on what a great fragrance it is so it definitely can be a compliment puller Lome ideal the edp last of the seven fragrances that i want to feature today that have the note of rose as a primary note and that are very masculine and can pull compliments is one from Dolce & Gabbana, one of the exclusive editions. It's The One Mysterious Night. Kind of a fragrance with a bit of a Middle Eastern flair. This is one of the denser, heavily packed, more weighty kind of fragrances. It's going to be the best way to highlight the qualities of this fragrance by wearing it in cooler weather. Good bit of rose absolute in the heart of it, along with some precious woods. It has a bit of ambroxan. There's amber, there's clary sage, and I think there's a, a bit of, of grapefruit in the open that pairs with the saffron. You've got this grapefruit saffron open. It's a wonderful introduction into the heart of, of rose absolute 
absolute. So even though rose is in the heart of the fragrance, it's detectable at the very outset and throughout the life of the fragrance. So that's what makes it kind of a rose oriented uh, fragrance. But it does have that one DNA, that sultry, seductive, still waters kind of fragrance that you definitely want to wear on date nights, but can be a signature scent because again, puts that wonderful note of rose or rose absolute in the forefront. The One Mysterious Night by Dolce & Gabbana. That's it for my seven fragrances that feature the note of rose that are extremely masculine and can pull compliments. If you own any of these, let me know which is your favorite or if I've missed a fragrance that has rose as a primary note that you feel like is very masculine. Let us know what those are or what that is in the comments below. Guys, thanks so much for stopping by to check out today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, thank you so much for your support on my channel. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you tomorrow.